Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to install OpenCV on new M1 MacBooks. Okay, first things first, you have to go to this URL. This is my blog and here I provided the needed code for the installation. I will put the link in the description and first you have to install the Apple co command line tools and I have already installed it, but if you haven't, you need to install it. And then you need to uh, set up brew on, on your Mac so that you can install other things. First, you have to run this code and then uh, you have to open this file and add this path. And afterwards you run this and you're ready to go. Once you have the, the brew, then you can install Miniforge. So Miniforge is like, a, you know, a, a kind of conda, I can say, which lets you uh, have a Python environment. So you can just simply run the brew install Miniforge and then you will get Miniforge installed. Okay, once you have the Miniforge installed, then you can create your Python environment. So here, so here I have my Miniforge installed, I have all of the things ready and now I can create a um, a Python environment. For example, I name it test underline open CV. So it confirms the location of the environment with me. I say yes. And there we go. We created it. Now using this command, I can run my environment. Now I'm in the environment. And it's written here okay next step we need to install Python because the default Python on this environment is version 2.7 but we need version 3 so we have to run this command Okay, now in order to install OpenCV, we need to install NumPy. So we have to download the package and we have to extract it. And then we go to the folder. Flow and then install. Okay, perfect. Once we have the NumPy installed, then we can continue and compile OpenCV. So first we have to download these two zip files. Then this one. Okay, now we have to unzip it. So this one. Okay, now we have to go to this folder and then make a directory called build. Okay, now that we have the build folder and so on, we can compile the OpenCV, but you should be very careful with those two addresses here. So we have to find these two folders 
and then paste it here in the code. So for example, here I go to my other directory and here I have downloaded the opencvcontrib.zip and here I have the folder. So I just gonna go to this folder and then modules okay, and then here I have the address. Copy this for yourself somewhere and then later you can paste it in the code. I'm just going to copy it in a text file. Okay, this is for the modules that you have to give a directory to it and then for the Python you also have to provide the executable. And it's, it's located where your environment is. For me, it is here. So it's basically in the opt, homebrew, cask room, miniforge, base, env, and then the name of the test, opencv. So I'm also going to copy this somewhere. Perfect. Now I have to go back to the build folder, which is in the open CV here and then build. Okay, perfect. Now I have to copy this from here and paste it here and then Put the directory of my Python executable here. So I have it already copied in a text file. Okay, open CV and bin Python 3. Bin. Okay, so it looks good and what else? I also have to change the directory for modules, paste it here and then I can run this code. It'll take a while. Okay, so we received these two configuring done and generating done. Now we have to run this command okay the dash j8 means using all of the cores of your CPU and then you might hear your laptop fan a little bit because it'll take a lot of process and it will use your CPU it will take around five to eight minutes Okay, it took me some time and my laptop was on fire during the process. Now I can run this code and have it installed. Okay, perfect. Now the installation is finished and I have to make a symbolic link uh, between OpenCV and my virtual environment. So I have to run this MD find to find this cv2.cpython file. Okay, here I get the directory address. So I have to copy this and then, you know, go to the Python 3 um, directory first in my in my environment. So copy this somewhere for yourself just to have it. Then you have to go to your Python 3 directory. For me, it is here. Okay, let me just cd here. Okay, so 
test open cv is my environment i just go there and then let's see what do we have here so now we have to go to the lib folder and then here we should have the python Okay, now here we have to make the symbolic link. So I copy it from here, but instead of this directory, I'm going to use the one that I copied before. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if it works. So we're on Python. import cv2 okay now we can check the version and it's 4.5 this is it i know that it's kind of complicated to install it on these new macbooks but this is the only way that we currently have hope they release new fixes and then they make it easier thanks for watching